Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number 7 on momentum, impulse, and collisions. I am your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is October 2016. Momentum. The momentum of an object is defined by its mass multiplied by velocity. Momentum is a vector quantity, p equals mv, where p and v are both vectors. Please refer to chapter 8 in the textbook. Force and momentum. The force on an object is equal to the time derivative of the momentum. So we have F equals MA, which is M times dV dt, which, is, uh, which can be expressed as F equals D times MV dt. But mv is just the quantity we define as p, so sigma f equals dp dt. In the absence of a net force, the change in momentum is zero, or momentum is constant. Example 1. What is the momentum of a 2 kilogram object traveling at 1 meters per second? b. A 10 to the minus 8 kilogram particle traveling at 2 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. c. What is the kinetic energy for both cases? Solution. For the 2 kilogram object, the momentum is 2 kilogram meters per second, which you get by 2 times 1. B. For this, for the 10 to 8 minus, 10 to minus 8 kilogram particle, we get 2 kilogram meters per second also. C. The kinetic energy of A is uh, 1 joule. The kinetic energy of B we can calculate as 2 times 10 to, minus, 2 times 10 to the 8th joules. We see that a heavy particle moving slower may have the same momentum as a lighter particle moving faster, but the kinetic energy depends on the velocity squared. Thus, the lighter particle is moving with a greater kinetic energy. Impulse. Impulse is defined as the change in momentum according to the impulse momentum theorem. We have J equals to delta P equals P2 minus P1, where J is the impulse. It is a vector quantity. J is also equal to the integral of F dt, which is equal to F average times delta T. Average force F average during a collision which takes place in the time interval delta T is given by equation 8 as F average delta T equals J. Example 2. What is the impulse applied to an object of mass m if it impacts the wall with velocity v and recoils with velocity v? You need to consider the initial and final velocity as well as their directions. Solution. Change it. The impulse is given by mv2 minus mv1. The final velocity is v if it's v is defined in the positive direction coming toward us. v is in the negative direction away from us. So we get the impulse as 2mv. Example 3. What is the impulse ap imp applied during the impact of an object against a wall? Shown in figure 1. Which is force versus time during a collision. Example 3. What is the impulse applied during the impact of an object against the wall shown in figure 1? Solution. We take the area to find the impulse. Use the area formula for a triangle. 
Uh, the integral is simply the area, which is a half times five newtons, which is the peak, times ten seconds, which is the base, which we obtain twenty-five kilogram meters per second. Conservation of momentum. Principle of conservation of momentum. The vector sum of the external forces on the system is zero. Total momentum is, of the system is constant. Collisions. We will consider collisions of two objects of mass MA and MB. So we have PAB1 PA1 plus PB1 equals to PA2 plus PB2. Or the, the P's are vectors. Collisions are could be elastic or inelastic. Elastic in which kinetic energy is conserved and inelastic in which kinetic energy is not conserved. There are some formulas typical of each type of collision. Elastic collisions. Two equations apply, the conservation of kinetic energy and the conservation of momentum. Consider the collision of two objects A and B. We have PA1x plus PB1x equals PA2x plus PB2x for the conservation of momentum in the x-direction. And uh, the, for the conservation of kinetic energy, we only consider the x-components of the velocity as well. Half MAVA1x squared plus half MBVABB1x squared equals uh, equivalent for the, for the uh, final velocities, VA2 and VB2. Elastic collisions. Special case, consider the initial velocity, velocity of object B is zero. Then the so solution is given by VA2x equals MA minus MB over MA plus MB VA1x, and VB2x equals 2MA divided by MA plus MB VA1x. We can consider the special case where the MA is equal to MB, where the, in the case of equal masses, what happens is that they exchange velocities. So VA2 is equal to the initial velocity of B, of B, and final velocity of B is equal to the initial velocity of A. Elastic collisions. Uh, we can consider the general formula for two-body elastic collision. There is a relation between the relative velocities of object A and object B. So we have uh, VB2 minus VA2 equals negative VB1 minus VA1. Inelastic collisions. In this type of collision, the two objects stick together and they have a combined momentum of P2x. The su sum of the two initial momenta equals the final momentum of the combined object. So we have a PAx and PBx are the initial velocities, initial momentums, and the P2x is the final momentum. We can Solving, we can obtain the final velocity um, in terms of VA1x. Example 4. A ballistic pendulum consists of a block of wood of mass m hanging from two long pairs of cords. When a bullet of mass m is fired into the block, the block plus bullet combined objects swings upward and rises a vertical distance h. Find what h is. Solution. We may obtain apply the conservation of momentum. MV is the initial velocity momentum of the of the bullet, and uh, 
the final momentum is m plus m times big uppercase V. So we can use any kinetic conservation of kinetic energy and the conservation of momentum we can solve to find the final velocity m plus m over m times square root of 2gh. The center of mass. x and y coordinates of the center of mass are given by xcm equals m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus dot 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 divided by m1 plus m2 plus dot dot dot. It would be right as a summation sigma i mi xi over sigma i mi where i is summing over the uh, uh, the particles or the objects in the system similarly for ycm example 5 what is the center of mass of an object center of mass of object a of mass 1 kilogram located at 1 meter 1 meter and object b look mass 2 kilogram located at x equals 0 y equals negative 2 meters Solving, we obtain xcm equals to 0.33 meters, and ycm equals to negative 1 meter. We simply multiply the position 1 kilogram times 1 kilogram for xcm plus 2.0 kilograms times 0 divided by the sum of the masses, which is 3, it gives us 0.33. Similarly for ycm. The velocity of the center of mass may be related to the velocity of the different particles making up the entire object. So we have uh, VCM is the sigma i mi v times vi divided by sigma mi, where sigma mi is simply the total mass. Some of the external forces equal to a particle of mass m located at the center of mass experience acceleration acm. So we have sigma fx equals macm. Exercise 1. Consider car A and car B which are headed in opposite directions. They collide and stick together. Both cars have a mass of 1500 kilograms. If car A has a velocity of Vax equals 5 meters per second, car B is traveling with a velocity of Vbx equals negative 4 meters per second, what is the velocity after the collision? Solution. Since the cars stick together, the collision is inelastic. We can apply the conservation of momentum, but not the conservation of kinetic energy. Um, so we obtain uh, MAVAX plus MBVBX equals MA plus MB times VFX, where VFX is the final velocity of the two object combination. Final v velocity is unknown quantity. Solving, uh, we obtain uh, 1500 kilograms times 5 meters per second plus 1500 kilograms times negative 4 meters per second equals 3000 kilograms times VFX. Obtaining VFX equals 0 0.50 meters per second. Exercise 2. Consider two, two gliders, glider A and glider B, on a frictionless air track. Glider A with mass 250 kilograms, 250 grams, traveling velocity 0 0.100 meters per second, collides elastically with glider B, mass 500 grams, traveling velocity 0 0.050 meters per second. What are the final velocities of glider A and glider B? Solution. We can use the conservation of kinetic energy. So we have a 0.5 times 0.250 times 0.10 uh, 
which is 0.10, which is the velocity, and similarly for the kinetic energy of the second particle applied to B. Um, the, since the last stick we have conserv conservation of kinetic energy, we can use the relation between velocities and elastic collision. Finally, we can solve for VA2. Note that we can use the quadratic equation to solve for the final value of VA2.